I'm sat here with Alex Daisy, who is my Artist of the Month on my blog Unique Lullaby, and I'm here at his first headline show and his EP launch. So how are you today, Alex? I'm very good, how are you? Good, I'm really good, thank you. How are you excited to get on that stage and start playing? Yeah, I can't wait, it's going to be really good, yes. Oh, amazing. So do you want to tell us a bit about you and about your music, just for people that haven't heard you before? Um, I'm uh, 17, I'm a singer-songwriter, so I write my songs and I sing on. Um, it's, the mu my music is kind of acoustic, Bandy kind of thing. I don't know. It's in the place of the moment where it's quite hard to describe, but it's um, it's, it says a lot about me. I think, as, you know, as a person, like my music. So yeah. I, Are you excited to get your music out to people that may not have heard it, heard it before? Yeah, and I think that's like the biggest like you know the thing I'm most excited about is new meeting new people and like sharing music with new people and stuff like that. So yeah. Amazing. And you obviously you balance school and stuff like that yeah, as well. How does that try. go? Yeah, yeah. I get there, but um, yeah, it's. <laughs> It's hard, you know, I don't do the best, you know, there's a lot of other people who do do balance it better than me, but, um, yeah, it's a lot of emails back and forth with teachers and stuff like that, yeah, but um, it's, it's hard, but we're getting, yeah. you know, I'm going to get my A-levels. You will as well, and now you might get a little music career as well, which would be uh, yeah. nice as well, that's the aim, isn't it? Well, yeah. <laughs> and of course your EP is out on Saturday, which is actually tomorrow, which is exciting, how does that feel to get that material out? That's mad, yeah, it's a long process doing it, but um, yeah, I'm so happy, I think, you know, just happy with how everything come out, and I, I think like, I, oh, I just can't wait to hear what people have to say about it. I think that's the most, you know, the thing I know. Everyone's been so kind so far, but, you know, I'm sure there'll be people who have something to say about it. <laughs> so and you've always had a lot of radio airplay, which has been exciting. How has that felt? That's mental. Um, the very first time I had radio play, I was um, playing Glory of Beauty. Amazing. Did you do? And uh, someone tweeted me saying, um, I'm sitting on the radio now, and I was just like, what? <laughs> me? I said, no. Uh, so then I checked my emails, and I had been emailed the, by Adam Walton, who used to play it the first week, and then the next week, Beth Melvin played it, and then she played it for like seven weeks straight. Wow. Every Saturday on his show, which is mental. Wow. Then it got played by On Nation Radio, and uh, by yourself in Cardiff. Cool. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been played everywhere, so it's, I'm just so grateful for that, yeah. Amazing. Well, it must be a good song. I mean, you've, you've been on the iTunes singer-songwriter charts as well. That was mental, yeah. yeah. tell us a little bit about that. Um, well, I'm, when I, it's back in summer, I seen one of my mates, he released his EP, and um, his EP got to like number 40, and I was just like, whoa, I was just completely mind blown by that. I was like, when I release my EP, I want to be 40, like, just as a friendly kind of thing. And then I remember putting the EP on um, for pre-order and I didn't think anything about it. Then someone I followed on Instagram had released their EP and there was number six in the song right now. So I went to go and download it. And as I was downloading it, I was scrolling down and I saw myself at like number 40. So all day then I was checking back and I think it peaked at number 23. Which is, that's incredible. That's mad, yeah. So, for an unsigned artist as well, yeah, that is it's incredible. incredible. But I, you know, some people who find this as friends and family oh, exactly. and things like that. So, yeah, I'm going to pre-order and so that's exciting. Yeah, I know, it's very exciting. And your first headline show, I bet yeah. you can't wait. How does it feel to get, get yourself out there? It's mad. It's, it's, I'm so nervous. But it's, oh, I'm not nervous as in like, I like don't want to play, it's just because... It's just whether people turn up. We, I think we're sitting now and it is, the doors have literally opened two minutes yeah. ago. It's always exciting to be really yeah. piling in. No. But you also play with a band as well. How's yeah. that been? Because you've been That's posting a lot of videos about that. That well. was cool. Um, it's something that I've always wanted to do. When I uh, recorded the EP, like, one of the main things I really wanted to like, focus on was the band, like, not so much as a band, but I, just, I really knew that a band sound was what I wanted to capture because I. I, I satisfy myself way more by listening to a band kind of play rather than just someone on their own. Like the majority of the time, obviously, there's ridiculous songs that people play them just a guitar or piano. But I, a band is really like what drove, like drove me to the EP. Like I really want to do that and to bring it live and I replicate the EP, which I think we've done really well. To hear it, is, that's really cool. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. It's a different sound for you, isn't it? As well, bringing it. It is. Yeah. Okay. It's um. Like, because obviously we had uh, Simon come and play on the EP and Dave, uh, and Simon is just like one of the most insane drummers, and uh, he'll play everything you want, ten times better. Like, yeah. he'll, he'll play it all, and then Dave, like his kind of musical influences are very 
like pink floating with red chili peppers, all that. And then you can kind of hear a little bit of that on there, like only the slightest bit, but I think little pinches of like just genius, like which just kind of make it what it is, you know. Lovely, get a bit of diversity yeah. in there, it's really nice. Well, then that's what a lot of people like to hear, isn't it? Like, yeah, I think, you know. No, that's really cool. And where can people put Sri P and have a listen to more of your music? Um, well, if you want to buy the EP, then iTunes or Amazon, and it's on iTunes now. Yeah, it's called Ready for Love. And, uh, but like SoundCloud, I got quite a few tracks on SoundCloud, which if you just want to listen to more. But yeah, then iTunes, Spotify, all of them, you know, it's exciting. It's everywhere, it's all yeah. over the place, all over the yeah. shop. Well, that's really good. Well, good luck tonight, Alex. Yeah, thank you very much. It's going to be a good show. We're all looking forward to it. So I am too, yeah. It's really good. Enjoy it, enjoy it.